Okay, today I'm going to show you uh, my cell builder. Uh, mind you, this is a commercial, commercial setup. So I'm going to show you uh, no hidden, uh, no hidden or no secret in my cell builder. It's a queenless one. It's a queenless cell builder. I gra uh, I graph yesterday. I will show you my my cell builder. Uh, the acceptance yesterday. The the cells that I graphed yesterday. And uh, I graphed last Saturday and last Monday. I will show those uh, cells over there. Uh, other uh, cell builder. But I can show you this one because uh, I can show you also the other uh, cell builder, the difference. This one is, uh, it's already November, the uh, 15th of November today, uh, today. So there is uh, nectar and pollen coming in, coming in. But because uh, uh, this is a cell builder, I just feed them with uh, a little bit of syrup and water. It's it's needed for for the for the cell. So I'll show you the frames, and this is for the newbie in a way. Uh, it's either you can uh, do it in your nooks cell builder or the swarm box or uh, this one is a commercial one so I'll show you that so my setup is usually this is honey and pollen choose honey and pollen but uh, there's heaps of pollen there and this one is pollen as well. Pollen. There. Pollen and uh, this one is wood. There. It's close brood. When I collect Brood, especially this time of the year in New Zealand, there's a lot of uh, excess brood. So because of uh, swarming, so uh, what I'm doing is uh, this is a queenless one. I collect brood, 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 five frame of brood and five frame of uh, food and honey and uh, pollen, pollen. Honey, open hand, uh, ha, on it, open honey frame. That is important. And uh, and on top, there's a brood as well. Because I'm going to still use this for uh, three weeks. This is a three-week cycle. So the brood that I uh, put in here. It's a closed brood. I'll show you the top where the cells is so that uh, you can see. There. So this one is still uh, pollen, this one, and uh, there, there's some cup uh, honey. This one is brood. I set this up two, uh, two days before. And I can use this three cycle. So you can see it's an open honey. It's good for uh, cell, queen cells. Cell rearing. And this one is a uh, close brood. So this, 
will be on um, will emerge next week the other uh, emerged already so uh, the one that uh, you need on um, cell builder is uh, young bees it's the nurse bees that you need uh, I'm running commercial one we have uh, 10,000 hive so I'm running um, a big scale so uh, and here's the cells that I graphed yesterday you can this is last night because I don't have time uh, in the morning oh my gosh <laughs> as you can see they are all accepted they are all accepted the reason being all accepted is the kind of your uh, cell builder cell builder is the most important one and the grafting uh, the age of the cells and how uh, how quick you graft and how gentle you you graft and also uh, because if you're quicker then you can bring the the cell bar cell bar uh, quick in this time uh, sometimes if uh, the room you are using or the area you are you, you see, uh, using while grafting is uh, cold then uh, if you feel co cold the bees feel cold as well and the larvae and this one is uh, uh, cell builder is uh, two days so it's a new and I can use it again for uh, following uh, three weeks to four weeks and we were going to slow down anyway during December uh, the following one is the finisher so I can show you the finisher or maybe the uh, this one this another cell builder it's uh, CB. I have all the tug in the lid. CB, seal builder. This is uh, grafted last uh, Monday. This is grafted last Monday or Saturday, we'll see. So it's the same. This is queenless one. It's just three quarter. Three quarter boxes. Yes, it's Saturday. It, sorry, this is a Saturday graph. So they are cut already. As you can see, one, two, three, four are not accepted. You see, this is uh, uh, Saturday cells. So I'm going to uh, harvest this today and put it in my incubator and I can graft again on Friday tomorrow I graft yesterday because I some orders some are not orders we're going to use it uh, next week after 10 days and this one is my uh, finisher this is a finisher so this is a strong hive uh, sorry, this is a previous uh, cell builder and when the cycle of the brood uh, came out already and uh, I know that um, it's maybe this is five weeks, I'm not sure, I will put queen in this one, in this fur, fur chamber and put the uh, excluder and there is cells here to become my uh, finisher. So it's a, it's a cycle. So, so that they will uh, brood rear and uh, the bees are, uh, there's a lot of bees in a way, so, so there's, the, I, I feed this, I think this one is uh, Monday graft, hopefully, we'll see, it's just, uh, there's a lot, a lot of uh, cell builder here, so sorry for that, uh, I don't uh, memorize every, every cell builder, but I have, uh, on the bar 
I have the dates like this one. It's in the 12th of November. It's in the bar. Yes, it's last um, Monday. This one. So this one also, also is only one is not accepted. You see? So as you can see in the hive also uh, the base is uh, not that strong because uh, uh, this was my cell builder before it's called CB it's cell builder before and then I uh, made it as a finisher when uh, I know all the cycle of the brood uh, they, they, came, they came out already and uh, mostly all bees so I will put a queen here exploder and become a finisher so it's 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 how I'm doing it it's my system and I don't need a lot of uh, breeder or a lot of hives to to uh, do a lot of grafting so I just cycling it so this one uh, I might uh, do another uh, um, cell, bu cell builder if the if the queen will uh, um, lay your eggs on on the frames uh, down the box chamber so uh, it depends but if we don't need uh, cells in queens as you can see there's some I, I graft many many and this one also is a uh, uh, cell builder uh, and I have Monday I think here sometimes I put uh, fewer fewer number for my orders for the customers to to give them a bigger one bigger sales oh. As you can see here, I graphed this last Saturday. They are huge, huge cells. There you go. So same, this one is uh, uh, queenless, 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 so it's how I'm doing the uh, queen rearing, I do queenless because of the percentage of the acceptance and we have a lot of uh, brood during this time anyway, so uh, the access of brood is not a problem for us, but when you do uh, uh, maybe for your own self you can uh, squeeze the fold up one or you can use this uh, nooks box just uh, put another box there and put yourselves in there it's the same it's the same theory and I can show you other finishers that we're doing so this is my knock boxes. It's a four frame plus feeder. So I'm going to check what the the, the cells that I grafted yesterday. Everything here has a cells. I just check so that I know the numbers. Otherwise. I will have problem uh, uh, short of cells to be used next next just, uh, next uh, next week. So As you can see, they're all good, maybe one or two 
were not accepted. And this is the another uh, cell builder. And on Saturday, before I will graft, I need to check every cell builder because uh, uh, they will create uh, cells also on the frame. So that's the uh, that's the thing you need to look after when you use the queenless one. The important thing you remember for queen rearing is that a uh, strong hive, many young bees, and the feeling of swarming. Still this one. Only two, two were not accepted as well. So this one is fewer bees. It's a very warm, warm day, so the worker are gone, but most likely uh, young bees is here. So so I'm checking so that if, if for example, some were not accepted, uh, there's something wrong. Sometimes it happened to me. Uh, I checked the following day. The whole whole bar is not accepted. It, meaning, uh, maybe I miss uh, virgin inside the hive, and then uh, uh, they will clean the cells. It's been a while. I've, I've been doing queen rearing. Most likely, nearly. Uh, I don't know. I'm doing beekeeping uh, more than 10 years, so still they're all good. They're not that uh, big yet because I graphed this uh, last night. So one, two, three, four, five. Five in this one. It's not accepted. It's not bad. And on Saturday, I'll check this uh, this frames because there's some will be uh, especially if there's open brood. I don't like putting open brood on the uh, cell builder. It's all cup brood, so as you can see here. Road in all emerge as uh, young bees. Okay, this one is cup road. There, it's a full cup road. So that's my cell builder, and we'll check my finisher. It's uh, the cells were ready for today to harvest. I'll put it in my incubator. This one's, these three are finishers. I'll just uh, show you one maybe. Mm. Finisher is uh, Queen Wright, so there's an excluder and this one. So you don't need a lot of uh, cell builder. If you have finishers, that's fine. You transfer after uh, two days, and they will uh, finish it there. There you go.
think this had finished this one. I hope I show you uh, something that you can learn from it and uh, comment below or something you want to, uh, to learn. And thank you for watching. Uh, uh, please share if, uh, if uh, you learned something. And I will do more video if uh, someone will watch it and learn from it. Okay, uh, see you next time.